Okay, we will have some basic idea about this cable. Sometimes you, you may already know these things. Okay. So first one is wires and cables. Okay, in installations, always we use these two words, wires and cable. Okay. Uh, for the same reason or for the same thing, uh, sometimes we use the both terms wire or a cable. Okay. So we think that this, this is the same uh, same thing, but there is a small difference in between wires and the cable. Okay, so this, uh, as I told you, the major part of the electrical installation is wires and the cables. Okay, so most we mostly we use this wires and cables throughout the installation. Okay, so this is the major part of the electrical installation. So more often the term wire and the cable used to describe the same thing. That means uh, for any kind of electrical electric circuit, not only for the installation. Okay, so if this is our source, I will take AC source and this is our load. For any type of, this is a typical or basic electric circuit. Uh, to, uh, to take the use of this load, we have to give the supply from AC or DC then only this current flow um, through this load and we uh, then we can take the use of this load okay so to have the connections in between the source and the load we should have some conductive materials okay so this is for the basic electric circuit so as as well as for electrical installations also from the supply to give the power to the loads, we should need some conductive materials. Okay. So this conductive part is uh, normally given or supplied from these wires and the cables. Okay. So, okay. so any conductive thing connected the source and loads, normally we call them as wires or uh, cables in practice. Okay. So, but uh, these two have a little bit difference. Okay, let's see what is the difference. Actually, wire is uh, we can use this term wire only for a single conductor. Okay, but uh, we can use the cable for the single conductors or for the group of wires. Okay, can understand here. Okay, but here you can. Five. There is uh, here we have only one single conductor. So this is called as a wire. But in cables, you can find so many wires gathered together. Okay. So that is the difference between wire and the cable. So you should, you must know the difference in between wire and a cable. So if we use this type of a conductive thing part in the installation, we are we are normally call them as cable. And if you use only one or single conductor, only we can use this term wire. Okay. So uh, this wire also sometimes we call it as the cable. But for this type of a group, we are not normally call it as wire. Definitely we have to tell this is a cable. Okay. So this is the difference. Uh, wire is a single conductor. Whereas cable is a group of wires. Then proper wire and cable installation is important to ensure the smooth electricity supply. So you can find this connectivity in between source and the load technique uh, given by these cables. So we have to uh, ensure to select these cables or the wires. Uh, to ensure the smooth electricity supply from source to the load. Okay, for that also all the thing, all these installation works we uh, normally standardized by using the regulations. Okay, so these building codes also given from these regulatory bodies to uh, do this proper wires and to select these proper wires in our. Installation. So now you know what is the difference between wire and the cable. So you can identify when we take this single part, 
this one and this one. Here also we have only one conductive path and here also we have only one conductive path. Okay. So both of these that uh, mentioned ones are called as, we can take them as wires. Okay. But the difference in these two wires is this conductive part of this first wire is a solid one and in second wire this conductive part is stranded. Okay. So that means, uh, solid means we have this type of a cross section area. Okay, so we, uh, here you can find only we have one conductor. Okay, we we'll draw like this. Notice, keep like this is the conductive part. And around that, uh, we have it is shown this insulating part. Okay, this is the insulating part. Okay, we omit this insulating part. So I'm drawing only this uh, wire. Oh, sorry, this conductive part of the uh, solid wire. In this solid wire, this conductive part, we have only one conduct. Okay. But uh, in stranding, okay, so I gave some. So when we come to this type of a, a wire, in second type of the wire, okay, so this, if this is the conductive part, this is just not a one conduct. Okay. So there are so many conductors are grouped together. Okay. So if we have this type of a uh, conductive part in this wire, we call them as stranded. Okay. So when we take the cross section of this stranded, for this solid one, Cross section is like, like like this. We have only one conductor, so this is our one, one conductive part. And normally we go for this type of circular cross sections. Okay, so we can find if in here we have one, two. Okay, in middle we have one conductor, and around there we can find six conductors. Okay, so. In this type of a stranded wire, okay. in this stranded wire, we have altogether seven conductors. Okay. So in here, middle we have one. Around this one, we have another six. And around these six, we have another 12 conductors. Okay. So in this type of a stranded conductor, we have this uh, 19, total 19 conductive part. Okay, so we, that means you can find we have this several number of conductors. Okay, these numbers can be like this, 7, 19. Okay. We can have this 7, 1, 7, 19, 37, so on. But whether it is a solid or a stranded, okay, so whether it is a solid or stranded, always this, this is also a wire, this is also a wire. Okay. And we discussed how to uh, give the size of the size using the strands. Okay, so from the imperial method. Uh, cable size is given like this and here we mentioned what is the num what, what is the number of conductors this number can be this type of 1 7 19 37 and so on and from the second number after the slash we give the diameter in inches in uh, this method is used normally in imperial method so if we go to this metric method normally we uh, mostly use this metric method. In metric method, from the first number, it gives the number of strands strands for this uh, cable or the wire. Okay, so this first number can be 1, 7, 19, 37, or uh, so on, to give the uh, normally uh, uh, approximately uh, circular cross-section area, we have to use a number of Standards in the conductive part. And from the second one, 
it gives the uh, diameter of one strand. Of one strand, we will give what is the okay. We have this type of a two yield, and we have three standards, seven standards. Okay, we will take what is the cross section or the diameter of one strand in millimeters, and we will give that value in the as the second number or after the slash. Okay, so in metric system, we can use this type of a representation for the size of the cable or the wire or we can directly tell what is the total diameter of this conductive part. Okay, so this is about the solid and stranded cables. So I told you this cable if you come to this cable, normally all of these are recorded as cable. So this cable can have this uh, conductive parts. Okay. If it is have a conduct one conductive or single conductor, one conductor or single conductor, only we can tell this is a wire. Okay. So this wire also come in under the cable. And if we have a two cables, three cables, likewise. We cannot tell this is a wire. Definitely, these these are cables. Okay, so all together, commonly for every uh, current carrying uh, parts or this current carrying part of the installation, we call them or we use, use the name cable. Okay, but mostly we are using this wire. Okay, so this wire only can be used for this single conductors. So here, this is a wire, this is a separate wire, this is a wire, this is a wire, okay. So this is the wire, and so I will show you in pre, uh, next. Uh, when you look at this picture clearly, okay, so at the beginning, this one, See here you can find there are more than one conduct, uh, one conductors, uh, more than one conductor you can find here, one, two, three, Okay, all together, uh, four, five conductors are in here. So this total, uh, this group we call it, you know, normally this is actually a cable. We, normally we are not called these ones as wires. And in this cable, individually we can find wires. Okay, so this is a one wire. This is the first wire. This is the second wire. This is the third wire, fourth wire, fifth wire. Or we can tell this is first uh, cable, second cable. Third cable, likewise, also we can tell this wire. We can use the name cable also. And in this wire, in, when we take one single conductor, you can find this conductive part is stranded in this picture. Okay, so this is difference between solid cable, solid wires, and the stranded wires. The solid cables and the stranded cables. Okay, so this is the basic things you should know about these cables. Okay, so we, we can use this uh, only this term for, uh, for our next uh, future or the uh, future usages. We will use only this uh, word cables because it is clear for every uh, cables we cannot use the word wire. So when we come to these cables, uh, we know that uh, there are mainly we can find in cables conductive part or an insulative part. Okay. So this conductor means any material which allows free passage of electric current. Okay. Uh, so normally the source and the load can be connected to this conductive part. Okay. So it will give the uh, free passage of electric electric currents. Okay, so this is our conductor now. Okay, so we can use different types of conductors. Okay, so likewise copper, aluminium, likewise. So according to the mat material, it will different uh, the ability of passing this free 
electric currents. Okay, so that therefore we we should use good conductors to uh, convey this electric CT with uh, with minimum loss of voltage. Okay, minimum loss means normally we will uh, in every cables or in conductors we can found this type of uh, R resistive, inductive, and the capacitive values can be found. Okay. So, because of these impedances, it will uh, drop the voltage. Uh, when we are choosing these conductors, we should use uh, good conductors which have this minimum loss of voltage, means minimum uh, impedance values. And normally for the inst installations, we are not directly uh, connect these things, this source and uh, load uh, directly from the, only from this conductive part. Uh, definitely we are talking about the safety and we had concern about the safety. Therefore, these uh, conductors should be covered by some insulating material. Okay. So insulating is the opposite of the conductor. Uh, conductors give, uh, give the ability to free passage of electricity and insulator is not allowed free flow of electric current. So you can find these insulators can find the current only to this area. So if anybody touches this cable, it will not harm to this person or it will not uh, create some fires and other kind of a hazards. Okay. So that's why we can found insulating part in every cables. And apart from these insulators, uh, some cables have another type, another uh, number of layers. Okay. We can have another uh, outer coverings around this insulator. Also, we can use another outer covering. This is uh, just to provide some mechanical protection to the cable. So this is given to the mechanical protection and these are called as the sheath. These things already we discussed and so I'm not in detail going to discuss these things. So you can find only this part convey the current or pass the electricity but around that you can find this insulator, insulating materials and some kind of mechanical protection likewise. Uh, there are so many type of cables we can found nowadays. Okay, so mainly uh, this type of uh, construction can be found in the cables. So this is a simplest one. So this is um, uh, a single as a single conductor. So we can call it as a wire also. Uh, first, uh, we should need a conductor. So we need the conductor. Around this conductor, we have this insulation. And around this insulation, we have a sheath. And this is for the mechanical protection. Uh, uh, you have uh, found some flexible cables also that means they are very easy to bend and they are very fine uh, cables okay so any uh, flexible cable have, uh, uh, have less than four square millimeter cross section area normally we call them as flexible cords okay so in our installation definitely uh, normally we are use this flexible flexible cables as well as non flexible cables. So here, this is an example for solid conductors. These are solid conductors. And around that, we have insulations. Okay. There are three single conductors grouped together. So this is called as a cable. This is coming under a cable. We can call it as a wire. So this is also an example for solid conductor. We have only one cross section. 
around that insulating materials, sheet, and coins. <laughs>